One of the things I love about working in television is getting to film in wonderful locations like Greenwich Park with its amazing views over London skyline. But like the rest of the UK, the capital has seen its fair share of extreme weather events like flash floods that have caused considerable damage, disruption and hardship. These extremes of weather increasingly make us wonder how our planet is changing. Today, I'm going to be exploring climate change with a Met Office scientist and finding out how this may impact the world we live in. But what is climate change? How do greenhouse gas emissions such as carbon dioxide add to it? What can we do to minimize the damage we're causing our planet? And how can we best live with the changes we're already committed to? Climate change refers to significant and long-lasting changes to the weather systems of our planet. Evidence for these changes can be seen across our climate system, including increasing temperatures, shrinking glaciers, and reducing Arctic sea ice. And there's growing evidence that climate change is influencing the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events, such as floods and heat waves. Our planet's only able to support life as we know it because of the greenhouse effect, which is a natural process that traps some of the heat lost from the Earth's surface in the atmosphere. Energy from the sun is the main driver for our climate system. About half of the energy coming in from the sun is absorbed at the Earth's surface. The Earth then radiates energy back towards space, but some of this is absorbed by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. These gases then re-admit the absorbed heat, some of which goes out to space. But some goes back down to heat the surface again. Well-established physics tell us that as concentrations of greenhouse gases increase, more heat is trapped in our atmosphere. Our planet is now warming because since the start of the Industrial Revolution, we've been putting more greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere. And these are trapping more and more heat. So how do we influence the greenhouse effect and impact on climate change? A number of human activities can change the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, including agriculture, deforestation, and the biggest one, the burning of fossil fuels, such as gas, coal, and oil, for power, for transport, in our homes, and of course, at work. Carbon dioxide is just one greenhouse gas, but it is significant because it stays in the atmosphere for a very long time. It is naturally occurring, but we add to this amount when we burn fossil fuels like petrol, gas and coal. And as greenhouse gases increase, so our land and oceans get warmer. Evidence suggests that these changes to our climate can have a number of effects including rises in sea levels, melting sea ice and glaciers, and extreme weather events. In fact, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the organization that advises the world's governments on this issue, it's extremely likely that human activities caused more than half of the observed increase in global average surface temperature from 1951 to 2010. I'm at the Thames Barrier, London's major defence against flooding, to meet an expert from the Met Office to learn more about the current and future risks of climate change. The long-term measurements tell us that sea levels around the world are rising and this will lead to more flooding. The Thames Barrier is one of the vital lines of defence in protecting London from the impacts of climate change. Hi, Jill. How are you doing? Good to see you. There are still some climate change sceptics out there. What hard evidence is there of climate change in the UK? Well, we've got lots of evidence from all sorts of different observations from around the world, which shows us that climate change is already happening. And we can see some of those changes here in the UK in sea level rise or increases in temperatures. And there's some evidence that shows that rainfall patterns are changing too. So what impact are these changes having? Well, these changes have influence over our seasons and our wildlife and also on us. So an important way that climate change directly affects us is through, through changing the risk of things like heat waves or floods. 
And so we need to have a look at how resilient our society is to those sorts of changes. So for example, the Met Office has looked at how demands on the Thames flood barrier might change in the future to make sure that it remains fit for purpose. <laughs> What are the implications, the long-term and the short-term implications of climate change? Well, apart from those direct impacts, there's also indirect effects on us here in the UK because climate change could affect things like crop yield or water availability in other parts of the world, which could then impact prices of food, for example, or the supply chains of things that we take for granted when we go shopping. So it's a real trickle-down effect, something on the other side of the globe could be happening that you have no idea is, is going to have a direct impact on you. Yeah, yeah, it's something that people might not think of immediately. The big question, of course, is what can we do about it? Well, we know from a huge body of scientific research that there is a link between how much carbon dioxide we emit and how much warming we're going to see in the future. Um, now, it's inevitable that we will see some further warming, but reducing greenhouse gas emissions is also going to reduce the risks of climate change later on in the century. And that means minimising the potential impacts on us and the environment. It's not too late. No, it's not too late. OK, that's the important <laughs> thing to stress. <laughs>know that our climate is already changing due to man-made greenhouse gas emissions and that there will be more changes in the future. But crucially, the science also tells us that we can avoid some of the most dangerous impacts of climate change if we reduce global greenhouse gas emissions. Met Office scientists are working with a number of organisations around the world to support people to make informed decisions to mitigate and adapt to a changing climate.